And now it is time on BBC One for the nine o'clock news with Jan Leeming. Farmers' leaders decide on a series of one-day strikes, but there'll be more talks with the employers first. More government help for the unemployed. The cost, £250 million. And how they brought the good news from Dallas to London, the revelation of JR's attacker. But first tonight, reports are still coming in of a... A story that's entirely fictional has been making news again. The shooting of J.R., the villain of the American TV soap opera Dallas. The secret of who done it is contained in videotape brought into Heathrow Airport by an American security guard. It'll be kept at a secret location overnight and won't be given to the BBC until tomorrow morning, when American viewers will already have seen it. But with tension mounting, our correspondent Martin Bell has been to Texas to look at some of the reality behind the fantasy. This is a story of Dallas and dollars, of intrigues and ambitions and lawsuits. It is also the story of the real Ewing Oil Company, which isn't to be found in any of the city's fancier skyscrapers, but has offices in a block of flats in a rather less fashionable neighborhood out by the old airport. And there, behind an improvised sign, Mr. Bobby Ewing does business. Dallas's soap opera repeating itself as real life of a sort and there's money to be made from it, not probably by the real Bobby Ewing, who's $30,000 the poorer in legal costs already, but by others cutting deals and seizing chances in the best JR tradition. The South Fork Ranch in Plano, just north of Dallas, is a little gold mine. It's a place of pilgrimage for addicts of the TV series who can now do more than just be photographed outside the gate. They can buy a piece of the land itself, being sold off now in square foot lots at $25 a piece, an investment, according to the prospectus, as American as grits and gravy, and soon to be open to British buyers as well. The owner of South Fork, Joe Duncan, J.R. Duncan, of course, is making the offer, and together with your square foot of the ranch, this one is Larry Hagman's own, suitably fertilized, he'll give you a deed certificate with oil and gas rights and a $100 bill in Hagman money for lighting your cigar with. As for those who buy their square foot of the property, they should be warned that it's only a speculative investment. No oil or gas is known to exist anywhere near the South Fork Ranch. And the Ewing Oil Company, I mean the real Ewing Oil Company, is exploring somewhere else. This is Martin Bell in Plano, Texas. And now the main story tonight. Reports of... A bit later on, at ten past nine, the moment you and I and all the rest of us have been waiting for. Did I do it? Did the poison dwarf do it? Who knows? Well, I've got somebody here who really does know. J.R., who did shoot you? Well, I'm much too ill to tell you that, Braid. You're looking at picture of health. I mean, on the show. Oh, I see. I thought it might be something internal. Mm -hmm, it is. <laughs> because you look in robust good health here. Yeah, well, it's and California living. The old smile is still there. <laughs> do we really find out tomorrow who did it? Yes, that's right. Yes, tomorrow is the big day. Did they keep it from you until the very last moment? I know who did it now. Huh? Sure. You've known who's done it all along, haven't no, you? No, I haven't. No, no, we shot that, the, the, we shot that uh, two weeks ago. Well, I know you're a regular visitor, but why are you in London this time? I, I'm coming over here to do the Royal Variety performance. Uh, for the Queen Mother. And I'm going to sing a song. Well, the old singing and terpsichore, of course, is no stranger to you. You've got a record out, haven't you? A yes, song with you, all your engaging old world chant? Well, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing it for the Queen Mother, which I think would be fun. Now, Larry, this is sort of a trick question. Do you happen to know when the next episode of Dallas is? Coming up right now. You know everything. <laughs>